Hello, happy Friday. I just made myself turn the camera on because I could have vlogged like 10 times today and like I just didn't because I don't know. I just, I gotta get acclimated of going back to work. Y'all, I went back to work this week. Thursday was my first day back and it wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible. I didn't die, so that's a plus. Um, <laughs> it was really, it's been slow because like I don't have all my access and stuff. I gotta get reinstated and whatnot, so it's taking a while. So I guess that's kind of a, probably a good thing because if I had to like dive in the deep end and like just do everything that I'm expected to do, cold turkey, you know, I probably would be like overwhelmed, but I've been trying, I've been kind of easing it back into it and I'm off on Monday for President's Day. So I got a long weekend <laughs> so I can get my mind right. So I'm going from like a two day work week to a four day work week and then I'm gonna have to like, you know, work. But um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Ivy did okay. She was, um, she wasn't like too much to handle. Like, you know? She was good for the most part. There was a few, we, it got a little hairy when she was like, she didn't want to finish her bottle. And so when she didn't finish her bottle, she was hungry again by the time she was sleepy. So then she was sleepy and hungry. So I had to give her the rest of the bottle so that she could go to do her nap. But she's good, she was good. So that is all. Um, I'm on my way to Walmart right now because I want, I'm craving Chipotle. And um, I'm not going to Chipotle. Like I'm not buying. Like I'm making. I'm making food at home. So I'm going to get some things. I already have beans. I already have um, rice. I already have corn. So I want to get. I'm gonna get some. You know some. Um, what is it like? I already have onion. So I'm gonna get like some tomatoes, some lettuce. We need more sour cream. I need some more tortillas. I really shouldn't buy chicken, but I think I'm going to get some chicken that's already thawed out because I forgot to take the chicken out the, today while I was, you know, being a bit dramatic about going back to work. So, I'm going to get stuff like that. I also want to take a gander. What time is it? It's only 420 and, like, there's traffic. What's happening? But, um, anywho, I don't know. I'm going to take a gander at the body care because there's this new native body wash that I want to smell. But I want to say it's not at my Walmart. It's at a, a different location. Um, so I'm just going to look and see what they got. If I see anything that tickles my fancy, I'm going to, you know, pick it up. Because why not? But um, I'm almost out of my strawberry vanilla taffy body care routine. The one that y'all seen posted this month. I'm running low on that. And it's almost time for me to switch. I mean, I have something that I could technically switch to. Which if I see a body wash to go with the bronze coconut um, body mist and lotion. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one up. I already have a scrub. And then that'll be our body care for March. The body care video that I do for March. Um, but if I see something else that just like gets me more excited, um, we may not do coconut. Cause I do coconut all the time. Like that's like my normal, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm not really excited, excited about the coconut routine, if that makes sense. Um, Cause it just feels like a regular day. I was excited about that native cause it was new. It was strawberries, vanilla, it was taffy. Like I had a new perfume, you know what I'm saying? I was excited about that, but like this coconut is gonna just be like back to the basics. But if I see something else, we're gonna pick it up. I may pick y'all up, but I really wanna listen to this CNG video. Um, You guys, the way this weather is ridiculous, like, oh my God, it's so cold. It was just 77 degrees yesterday. <sighs> Whew. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I picked up this, instead of a soda, I really wanted a grape cold, but I saw this strawberry grape body armor. I'm literally like leaking right now. I have a uh, leak guards on, but. That's more strawberry than grape. 
<sighs> but I didn't pick y'all up because I was listening to a video, so I didn't pick y'all up. But um, I got some good stuff. I can't wait to show y'all when I get home. Y'all literally spent. Oh my god. Okay. Ivy's car seat thing was tripping me out because you can see the car next to you, but it looks like the car is moving, not you. Trippy. But anyways, I got some good stuff. Literally only spent fifty dollars. Mind you, I probably would have spent fifty dollars at Chipotle on getting our food alone because you know, like with the kids eating, with Alex eating, with me eating, it's gonna be about fifty bucks for a family of four at this point. So I think I did good. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna cook. And I got the chicken. I got the chicken. So yeah. I think I did good. And I got some body stuff that I'm going to show y'all. Y'all, it literally smells so freaking good. But I'm going to talk to y'all about my plans. Like, as we cook dinner and grocery shop. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. y'all are gonna cook with me i'm excited and i got um i'll just see y'all at home y'all i'm back at home and i am well into making dinner i've been running my mouth with my daddy we be uh calling each other about every little thing that go on in the city and i have saw that the local PS Taco has been shut down. Like every little thing, every little restaurant is like shut down in our neighborhood. It's just like, well, not our neighborhood, but like our area. And we just like, what is going on? I think that the people can't afford the doggone uh, rent prices. Like, just like regular Americans can't afford these rent under um, renting these homes and stuff. I think these businesses can't afford these leases y'all look at these tomatoes that is like so red so juicy i can't wait to eat this so i had oh, i forgot to tell y'all what i got from the store because i haven't been on here but i got some roman tomatoes i got a head of lettuce which i've already like shredded and washed my tomatoes are here I already had onion and diced some onion. I love onion, y'all. I bought some jasmine rice. I wanted the, <laughs> my daddy kept saying what when I said this. I don't know if I'm saying it right or he just don't know what it is, period. But basmati rice, do y'all know what that is? Like the fine, like I think it's like an Indian rice. I wanted some basmati rice, but I got the jasmine rice instead because that's, I only use bowl in a bag because I don't have a rice maker and I'm, I suck at making rice. And my dad, growing up, he used to love rice. And he was a rice snob. Like, he would be so disappointed in my rice. It would look like mashed potatoes. But, so I only buy bowl in a bag now. Because it cooks perfectly. Um, I bought a little small pack of chicken breasts for like $5. I already had some black beans. I'm going to heat up. Corn. Y'all, look at this. Erdes. Y'all see, I hope it's focused. Erdes guacamole salsa. I can't wait to pour this on my bowl. Sour cream, of course. Orange juice. A huge 10-pound oh, bag of sugar. Ow, y'all, my boobs hurt so bad. You can And um, I bought a whole bunch of Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. So I'm going ahead and I'm putting this stuff in like these little containers so it'll be just easier to um, put up when I'm done cooking. And then these are the tortillas I bought and then of course some taco seasoning. I need to cut up 
Do I need to? No, I'm just going to shred this. And I bought some cilantro for my rice and two limes because I'm going to do jasmine cilantro rice, I guess, since it's jasmine and not basmati. But I'm basically trying to make the cilantro rice that they be having at uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. And yeah, so I got the chicken over here cooking. I was waiting for y'all. Okay, so I have the rice back here about to boil chicken in here, and now I'm about to add in the taco seasoning to my chicken. And then I just like to add water to this. And kind of let that cook in there with it. Um, let me just put this in. And then I want to add some extra onion powder. And I want to add some extra. Where is it? Yes. Garlic powder. And I have some minced garlic in there and some cut up onions in the bottom. And so, yes, the mayo. This our chicken. This our chicken. Look at that. This is gonna be a nice, spicy chicken. Okay. You can't see it, but you gotta put some of the taco soup uh like gravy in there you gotta get the gravy like basically all the juices from everything complements each other I'm gonna do black beans i'm gonna do corn i kind of drain my corn because i don't really need all that corn then i want some I like my onions like this thick. I don't know why. I just don't like raw onions sitting on top of my bowl. But I'm going to do some onions. I love onions. I don't have any pico, so that's another reason. I'm just adding extra. Oh, let me get that. Look at the quesadillas. Don't they look good? I'm gonna get them some lettuce and salsa. It's already long. Well, they don't even want salsa. They want lettuce and salsa right now. I'm gonna get them some lettuce. I love lettuce, y'all. I be asked for extra lettuce at the places. I love tomatoes. Let's do this part. And tomatoes. I think I'm going to go in on this right here. This. I've never had this before. I'm going to need to shake it up. Let me taste this. Oh, that is good. It's like zesty, like limey kind of. Yes, this is. Oh, it's kind of got a, a kick to it. That's delicious. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. A little, yeah, there. And then we're gonna do our sour cream, and that is it for my bowl, y'all. And I just mix it all up. And then I'll heat up me like three tortillas and just kind of like make my own little tacos. And boom, shakalaka. I'm still using somewhat a lot of dishes and I love sour cream. So the sour cream just gotta go boom right there. Oh, let me get my girls some. So I'm gonna see y'all after dinner. Y'all, it just looks so good. I can't believe I ain't paid $50 for this. 
Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yes. Mm. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Walmart. So, I ended up getting the OGX, is that what this is? Yeah, OGX Coconut Miracle Oil to go with the coconut routine because this is just a classic and you know everything's like all pink and stuff but look at this so i got this suave wild cherry blossom oh, it smells so mm, smell that mm -hmm. i said that smells good this was only like two dollars like two dollars and some change and then they had this cherry almond i've never seen this before but it says original scent Oh, it smells like a cherry. It smells so good. Uh huh. So, I don't know. I really want to do a cherry um, body routine, but I don't have a scrub to go with this or perfume. I mean, technically, I could do vanilla, but I kind of want a cherry one. I don't know. But I do have what I need to do a complete coconut routine. But this, this lotion, y'all, this was only $3. This the 10 ounce. They had, um, like, a medium size and a really large size. But I got the smallest size, which is the 10 ounce. So. So, I think it's going to be good. I'm all comfy in my jammies. Man, Alex, I think I'm about to watch um, that fungus show, zombie show, The Last of Us. Me and Ivy just watched Regress in Paris and now she's asleep and now the girls getting ready for bed. But I want to show y'all this. I want to do a cherry, a cherry uh, routine. Like I want to find a cherry scrub. If I can't find a cherry scrub and a cherry perfume, I'm going to be upset, but oh well. I mean, look y'all, look what I got. These are my AirPods. Look at this. My AirPods are <laughs> How cute is this? Alex thought this was like a toy for the girls. This is my AirPods. And that's so cute. Got that off of Amazon. So, yes. Y'all need to find this. This lotion smells so sweet and good. Cherry almond. Mm. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm just about to hang out with my husband and pump and call it a night. Good night. Good morning, guys. So, I haven't done, I'm not ready for the day. Happy Saturday, by the way. But um, I wanted to show y'all like what I put in my hair to like keep it soft when I'm not like styling it. Because y'all, I am absolutely like losing my hair right here. Like, do y'all see the shedding? So, boo. But um, I used this in G IGK mistress hydrating balm i like this it makes it really soft and then i like um the moisture shining cream by amika so i just used these and a little bit of spray and spray and i was about to pull my hair back into a ponytail like i usually do but oh, with my edges like that i just think i'm just gonna let her be free and put a headband on so it's out of my face um so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to, um, I need to get some more of this. I hope it's still so. I've had this for a while. This one, not so much. I want to try that Pattern Beauty Shine Spray because, like, my hair don't hold no shine. Like, I don't know if it's because it's just 4C. 4C don't shine, but it's like no matter what I do. Let me see. I also have this spray right here that I usually use on my braids and stuff. But like nothing and it's shine for real to my hair. It just oh, it rubs it up. I sprayed it like right here. It just made it rubbing. I don't know why I want shiny here. But, um, yeah. So, I'm about to go fix the girls some cereal. Probably fix myself some cereal. Because I don't feel like cooking. And they're home with me all week next week. 
So, I gotta pace myself. I can't just right off the bat just be, you know, going crazy. I haven't done my skincare. I think we'll do that like a little later. I should probably go ahead and do it now. I had a pimple patch right here and the pimple is gone. Those patches work. But, um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm, I haven't done my skincare because I don't know. I kind of want to wait to do it after I get out of the shower because what I plan to do today. Let me go fix some cereal. We can talk in the kitchen. Yeah, um, I don't really want to do anything today for real. Like, this is like leaving my house. My cousin did ask me to put some lashes on her and her friend, I think. And, um, but I'm probably going to go do that. Alex going to get back. Well, if Alex get back at a reasonable time, I'm going to go to them. But if not, they're going to have to come to me because... It was freaking cold. I'm going to fix my baby for that. It's like, you know, y'all probably gonna be like, that's not cold, but it's like in the 30s, I think. That's cold for us. We are flip-flops at Christmas people. Like, you know. So, I think that's contributing to the fact that I just want to stay home. like sense when I walk out the room. I was like she didn't sleep this whole time. Now yeah, she up. But I have her up. Uh, I have her her bottle ready. Yogurt and applesauce. I mean, I have yogurt. I don't have yogurt, but I have applesauce. I have the applesauce. I have the applesauce. I have the applesauce. Ooh, we gotta use this up. This be in my, uh, what's it called? Pinch in my, um, secondary like non-perishable pantry so i'm not trying to use stuff out of that so i can replace it this year because there's so much stuff going out like the applesauce the applesauce the cereal that's too much sugar i don't need no orange juice you need some water water And the house isn't like a mess. It's just kind of just like, you need a little straightening, you know? So, that's what I'm gonna do today. I think I'm gonna make the girls some hot cocoa later. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna make my meal. Tonight or tomorrow. It's more like a Sunday dinner. I want to do red beans and rice, fried chicken wings, and um, cornbread and turnip greens. And I also want to bake a cake. But I forgot to get the cake instead of Walmart. Look at how they're not going to buy this stuff. I don't know if I have a cake. Do I, have, I don't think I have a cake. I want a strawberry cake. Mm -hmm. black, so. At some point, I'm going to have to get a strawberry cake. So I might have to just wait till Sunday. I don't want to today. And I also want to declutter some makeup and get some. Um, I gotta get some of Ivy's clothes decluttered too. Her zero to three month clothes because my best friend is pregnant. My God, baby, and it's a girl. And um. She want all that stuff, so I gotta go through 
pull out this liquid stains and then um, pack up some clothes. And some artistry palettes, like makeup palettes. She do like real cute, funky makeup looks that I don't do anymore. Like I become rested into the fact that I don't play with color like that. I may every now and again dip into like a icy blue or something like that, but otherwise I'm a soft glam, pinky new type of person. So I'm gonna give her all those um, big artistry palettes if I don't see enough neutral shades in there. Just like the the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like the um, Norvina, one at a time, please. One at a time. Like the Norvina, um, those artists, those big Norvina artistry palettes. So, just finish pumping Big Ivy. Um, watch the movie. Clean up the kitchen a little. So, um, I'm about to do the floors. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree uh, soap, the last of it. I'm gonna use this Ajax Floral. It smells so good. Mmm, I'm gonna have And then I'm gonna pour in some of this cherry blossom all-purpose cleaner. And then hot water. Bleach breaks down um, stuff on your floor, and like y'all know, my floor is like a distressed brick, but I just can't help myself. I'm gonna do just this splash of bleach to this place, and that's it. And then that big little town. I don't know, y'all, it's just something about. Um, Something about clean floors that just make me feel like my house is together. I just like to do the floors. It's, I guess it's kind of a therapy, if you will. And then after I'm done with the floors and stuff, I'm gonna just kind of disinfect the countertops and stuff in the bathrooms and wipe down the toilets. You know. Y'all wanna watch or? My floors are glistening. Okay, y'all. Ivy is finally asleep. She has been fighting her sleep for the last hour, but I wanted to show y'all what I have for body stuff. Um, let me see. Okay. So I was gonna do. The coconut body scrub, the bronze coconut um, body lotion and body mist. And that was going to be a, um, oh, and this perfume will go really good with it. And that was going to be my next routine. I still don't have what I want to have, cause, but I could basically, I could do this, this the uh mod vanilla and then the the tony braxton nude sugar and the nude sugar body spray 
So which one y'all think I should do next? Let me know in the comments. Because I was looking online and they don't have many like accessible body scrubs. They just have um like specialty, like you can order off Amazon, but like they didn't have anything like known, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know. And then I eventually want to do something with this one too, maybe during the summer. Um, but yeah, but like this would go good with that one, and um, either this one, the OP Summer Breeze, would go good with this one, but just like aesthetically looking at it. Shoot, even this one, the um, Ed Hardy will go good, I think. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, and even the cloud, the Ariana Grande cloud will go good. It has coconut in it, too. So uh, this one I said because it has, what, coconut water. And it's just like a light. I have a lot of coconut vanilla scents. Y'all know that. So that's why I was thinking about pairing those. I think I'm gonna wet my hair. I don't think I'm gonna wash it. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should co wash it. I use the um, what's it called? I've been using this big guy right here just to do um just the daily hydration conditioner to rehydrate so i might rinse this through my hair and do a co-wash and then when i get out i'm gonna probably do like the wash and go routine that i like to do so that um i don't have to do it for the next couple of days Yeah, I'm about to shower. Look at my Valentine's Day flowers. You got me. I think so beautiful. My lilies are opening up. Like they look so good. This one was a little, maybe yeah, she was going through something. But um, yeah, they're really pretty. The carnations. I need to add water. But yeah, so I'm about to shower. Um, I'll pick y'all back up when like I'm getting ready and like we're doing skincare and stuff. I'm just gonna put on one of my cute little Piper Short sets and then um, I might put like a... And I might just put this little sheet of thing over it for when I get chewy or whatnot or somebody... Um, I feel like my dream job, like, because it wouldn't be labor, would be taking care of myself, like, trying out, like, new body products and stuff. Not, like, ones that are testing on me, but, like, you know, just new stuff on the market. Because I just love to shower and take care of myself. Like, sometimes I do it twice a day. We are about to do some skincare okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some I do my skincare before I do anything else because like I don't like washing my hands well, <laughs> now that I don't like washing my hands but like I would have to wash my hands a lot more um, because I would have to wash between each step that I do. Like, I would have to wash after I do my hair, wash after I put my body products on, and all that jazz. So, that's why I'm just going to do some essence. Oh, it feels so good. But, yeah, just like that washing from head to toe, that good smell of body wash wet hair y'all know the vibes excuse me y'all i gotta get in the skincare package real quick to get my hyaluronic acid i 
And then after this, we're gonna do one of the decluttering since we've already, me and the girls have cleaned our bathrooms and um, I did my sink and Allison's sink and our toilet. And they did theirs. The only thing is I need to sweep in here. But they were still using the broom or playing with the broom. But as long as they get done, I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what they do. Like, cause they're kids, you know? I'm just trying to teach them, you know, responsibility of cleaning up after themselves. So I try not to harp on how it gets done or how long it takes. Like parents, we gotta stay focused on problems. Like as long as it gets done, even with our husbands, as long as it gets done, it doesn't have to get done. How it gets done, we do it. I know when we do it, it only takes 20 minutes. It might take 30 minutes for them, but they're seven. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I be trying to tell myself because I get it to like hurry up and do it and sit down somewhere. But you ain't gotta sit down somewhere for as long as it's clean. And I'm gonna show y'all how it looks because y'all be thinking these kids can't do nothing and they can. And it's not about like cleaning your house per se. It's like teach them the responsibility of cleaning up after themselves because me and their dad don't use that bathroom, they use that bathroom. And sometimes it shows because their underwear is in there, their socks are in there, there's toilet paper on the floor. You get what I'm saying? Um, and duh, I clean it at least um, twice a month, like go in there and clean it like an adult clean. But we're just like in between that, my next deep cleaning for the house, which will be next weekend. Um, and I just did the floors this week because I had the energy too and I want to deep clean everything else. But just, it's no harm in having them do little stuff like wipe down the counters. It's not like I had them in there like scrubbing. Like they, just did, they did a surface clean, so to speak. And they picked up after themselves off of the floor. Let's go ahead and get started on this main... Okay, we are fresh. It's on whatever. 156. I want um I don't want Alex to take us out for dinner, but it's supposed to get really cold tonight, so maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just miss him. He's been he's been busy Saturday. Um, I don't know what to make for lunch. I have all this black bean stuff left. I have some hot cocoa here with a little caramel and whipped cream. And a sleepy baby. All right, y'all, let's do clutter. But I wanted to show y'all this pretty pink um, Ben Nye powder I ordered. I want to try this tomorrow before church because, like, the pink powder um, is a trend right now. So we aren't going to stay here long because I've kind of been, like, wrapping my mind around what I'm going to declutter. And it's definitely going to be this cover of eggs. It's half empty. Um, I think I'm going to give my Mac studio fix to my friend y'all see i use quite a bit of this um i was on the fence about this one i think i'm gonna keep it this one i'm gonna give to my mom um i'm gonna see if my friend can use this she might be able to use it i don't know um these are the cover effects custom drops that you can use to change the color of your makeup but as y'all can see it's like separated in there so i'm just gonna throw that away um so i'm only gonna keep i broke my cap that goes on the movie i'm gonna use the abh um foundation tomorrow for church to see if i still like it and if i want to keep it but this used to be my favorite. 
Um, so I'm going to use it tomorrow, but that's going to leave me with, um, if I leave, if I use the, if I keep the ABH, it's going to leave me with, um, six foundations or seven because I have the, um, I have the NYX blur and the NARS, uh, soft matte in there. Um, I'm keeping my Quaven Acorns this is one of my favorites. And we can tell because I've hit pan on this one. So this one's almost getting used up. And then the Patrick Tot is new. So I'm holding on to it. And this is a skin tint. And I have one other uh, Tarte skin tint. So I think it would be eight actually. Because I have three in there. And if I keep the ABH, I'll have five in here. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm also going to like wear... Uh, the Morphe again to see if I still like this formula too. Um, let's see. For concealers, I think I'm gonna get rid of the two Mac Studio Fix. This just aren't my favorite line. Like, I mean, they're just classics. Um, I like the Rare Beauty. I love my Neutrogena. My Makeup Forever is so full coverage. I love the Fenty. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the cover fix. Um, and I'm almost like done with my Pat McGrath. I'm gonna use this tomorrow too, as well with the ABH, just to make sure I still like it. And if I do, I'll hold on to it. I don't feel like I need to get rid of any, um, well, I need to get rid of this. Um, but I don't think I need to get rid of any primers I don't need to get rid of any powders per se um, I use all these I don't use I haven't used this master chrome but this was my favorite for a while but like it's not my favorite formula okay maybe I lied look at that I'm gonna put this on my cheeks it's very creamy I'm gonna try some things um I don't reach for these as much as I do my um, my Arctic Glow Lust or my um, Fenty Rum Cream. I love this. Um, I don't reach for this KKW Highlighting Powder. Let me see. And I know it's a powder. It's just like way more dry than I expected. And I just don't reach for it as much. And it's a little yellow. So I might give this to my mom, actually. I think she'll need that. She needs more powders. Um, my blushes, I pretty much want all of my, I don't reach for this one as much anymore. Mm, that's it right there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, Laura Geller Mac, I like this one. The Tarte one is one of my favorites. Love the rare, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of the um, Fenty Cream. I really enjoyed it. Clearly, I hit pan in here, but I just don't um, reach for it anymore. Uh, keeping my Chanel. I still like the ABH. I still love the truffle. The Patrick Todd doesn't... He added another shade, but I still feel like it would still be a bit much. Um, this is more of a contour for me. So, I'm going to keep it just for those for that purpose. Um, but I don't contour a lot. And... Um, yeah, so these are the bronzers I'm keeping, plus the Juvia's Place in there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Glow Kit. Um, I'm going to get rid of this uh, Elf Jen Atkin palette. You know, I really enjoyed it at some point. Um, rock. I still really like these blushes. I'm gonna keep it. KKW. Mm, I think I'm gonna get rid of this 
Y'all see that one on the end was clearly my favorite, the orange. Um, I'm gonna give this to my mom. And yeah, I'm gonna keep these. I still love this um, MAC Hyper Real Glow. This is such a good highlight palette. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Yeah. Y'all, I'm being cutthroat right now. Okay, it's the eyeshadow palettes that's gonna pretty much drive me bananas let's see i love a mini girly palette but those mattes are not my favorite but look at those shimmers <sighs> i have yet to play with well i think i played with it one time i just don't reach for these Pat McGrath shadows, but I think my best friend would love these. I've only played with the purples. Um, let's see. Uh, Lawless. Oh, I wanted to look at these artistry palettes real quick. Let's see what else if I wanted to keep these or not. So I can't even get in here. This is one of my favorites, the Bare Necessities by ColourPop. I love to travel with this. Um, it's just, it's just good. It's really good. Keeping. This one is the Norvina. I'm just not, yeah. This is, I'm going to give this to my best friend. It's just the colors, you know. Now, this one I'm keeping. Like, yeah, it's got that bright neon that I'm probably never going to use. But the purples and the pinks, like, the neutrals. and This is, like, my type. Like, if you look at just this, this is a shadow look that I would do. If you look at just these four or six right here, this is, I could do this. If you look at these, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to break it down. Like, this is pretty much the Norvina palette right here. So, I'm keeping this one. Like, look, look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. But pinks are my thing. Y'all know that. So, I'm going to keep that one. Um, I'm actually going to pull it out to play with tomorrow for church. Um, let's see minted i gotta keep my minted palette like that's black owned and i like the the um what's it called the formula i'm gonna get rid of this one because i still haven't touched it um i'm gonna keep my natasha denona Lawless. My huda i love my huda palettes y'all know that ABH. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the Riviera because I don't reach for it. And plus, um, I reach for my Carly Bible palette more. And yeah, I'm gonna hold on to Subculture just because, like, I don't have many cool tone palettes. So I'm gonna keep it. Of course, I'm keeping Jackie Aina. Of course, I'm keeping Carly Bible. And this is what I meant. Like, you see the shades in here. It has the same icy blue and pastel -y colors. I actually love Bare all over the lid. It's really pretty. This is a really pretty palette. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep... Um, I'm going to keep the... I like the shimmers in the Norvina, but I don't like the mattes for some reason. Like, they just don't do it for me. And there's only, like, four of them. And they're kind of ashy. So, hmm. As y'all can see, I've gone in on the shimmers. Drama is so pretty. Yeah. 
I'm gonna keep it for now. We'll revisit, of course. We'll revisit. I'm gonna keep all my Huda, like I said. I'm gonna keep the Lawless. I'm gonna keep my natural news one of my favorites. So I feel good about this, what we're keeping. I don't know if y'all remember this one, but I found it at TJ Maxx. This is just a good one. Um so yeah, I'm gonna keep those and oh there's one hiding back here. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this Pat McGrath too. So yeah. I feel really good. Like that was a really good declutter and we did it so quickly. So quickly. I'm proud of myself. And this is all the stuff that we are gonna be getting rid of. Eyeshadow palettes. This, this. Um I'm using this. You know what? I do like this, but I don't reach for it hardly ever, but I might need this for a drugstore video. You know, like, as long as they carry it, I'm going to recommend it. So I'm going to keep it. I'll keep it out there just for tomorrow so y'all can see it on the face. But yeah, I'm getting rid of pretty much all of this. Um, I'm going to let my best friend go through the bag and see what she wants. And yeah, so this is what I was going to wear. It's cold today. I gotta stop tearing this room apart every time I want to get her dress. I put things back where they go. straps I should take off but I mainly use these and these but I'm carrying this bag today I need some diapers extra beer
Okay, y'all. I got my little few groceries that I needed. Tell me why I'm walking through the store mind my business. This man come approaching me. He worked at the store and he's like, you find everything okay? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh my goodness. Your majesty. I was just like, not your majesty. <laughs> he was like, who you baking this cake for? I was like, my husband. He's like, you got a husband. I said, yeah, you know how it is. He was like, I don't. I said, you don't have no wife baking you no cake? He was like, what wife? I was like, you need to go find your wife some They don't make them like you no more. And nobody baking cakes no more. I was like, that's hard to believe. <sighs> it's just foolishness out here in these streets. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go home, get changed, start, um, start my turnip greens and start my, um, my cornbread, mixing it up and stuff. I think I'm gonna bake my cake first, honestly. So I might just bake my cake and then um, then start, I'm gonna start my turtle greens, then bake my cake, and then I'll do everything else um, later. I'm cheating with my red beans because I didn't soak any and I don't feel like pressure cooking any. So I'm um, gonna dress up the can kind and add some sausage to it because my family, they don't, they don't even appreciate red beans. Like I'm gonna be the only one eating them for real. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys Thursday for a favorites video. No Bible study this week. We're going to start Noah next Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.